Here we are again, this time with Dar's Zone, who's dropping his 400 gigabyte ultimate king image. And this is his latest and greatest. It's actually been out for a little bit of time now, but I wanted to revisit this as the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, as I've been making a couple videos now, is still a very capable emulation device. Look at all these systems that it will play, Atari, Super Nintendo, it'll even play a lot of Dreamcast games, Daphne, PSP, and Nintendo 64. Now obviously, a lot of people are gonna prefer the Raspberry Pi 4, or even something a little more uh, powerful, like an Odroid, or even a gaming laptop PC, which is gonna allow for pretty much any emulation, including PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, GameCube, Wii, Wii U, etc. Now here we are though, in 2020, almost 2021, and the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus is still amazing. It's still really, really cool. He even has his own little section here with his, his favorite games. But as you see here, it's very clean. He has, he's totally blinged it out from his intro videos to these themes. He actually has a bunch of these themes pre-installed. Um, and it's rocking a ton of games. He didn't waste any space with um, video snaps. If you notice here, all these games are just the pitcher. And so he's able to, you know, shove 22, close to 22,000 games onto this doing that style. And uh, if anything, it's actually pretty cool for the Raspberry Pi 3 because, um, you know, it lagged with those video snaps just a little bit. And so it makes it really uh, easy to kind of jump around this image. Now, um, this is a very user-friendly image, so like a lot of the options are, are disabled on it, uh, but some cool things about it like are the community, where these are community games that the community really loves, or he has his own games that he really loves that he thinks you should check out, while that leaves open the favorites for so you to go ahead and calibrate and add your own games here. So you can have multiple little collections here. So with over 20 systems and over 22,000 games, let's check out Dar's Zone Ultimate King Image with Raspberry Pi 3B. Plus. Look at that random game. I got into Dick Tracy. So it does have a random game. You hit select here, and then you just hit start. And then when I hit start here, it'll pick a random game, any random game. A or A or B will get you out. So getting started, this is the uh, Gestalt Ultimate theme. And that's the theme you see as I go through the game list shortly here. But uh, I was just experimenting with the different transitions and things. But as you see, this particular theme is just super, you know, good as far as not lagging and easy and the artwork is really nice. So these are all the, this is all pre-installed for you, these themes, and you can add your own as well. But I want to check out a few more here for you. So Classy, for example, is a totally different theme. You can see here it's large, large buttons. And then when you go into a console, you can see that there. But again, really um, lag-free, user-friendly. And then uh, a lot of these are iterations of the Gestalt. So for example, this one, the arcade, it's more blue instead of gold and then the rooms are a little different here. Okay, let's go ahead and get this started. All games, 21,867. Amiga, this guy loves Amiga. 2,100, 2,168. Amiga, 1,200, you've got 154. Amiga CD, 32, 110. Amstrad, you have 1,959. Arcade, you have 699. Arcade 2, you have 1,376. Uh, the differences here is just in the in the different games. I'm noticing this is more like arcade classics and things, and then this is like your I think your CPS, your Neo Geo, and some other stuff. You then have your Atari 2600, 706, Atari 7800, 83. And remember when you go in, there's no video snaps here. Um, if a game is missing a screenshot, it just says like that. But that's cool that it has an image specific to the console. Uh, Atari Lynx portable. You got 83, Atari ST, a system that's not always on all these images, 260. Commodore 64, you're gonna see a lot here, 4,000. So right there, if you take Commodore 60 out, there's only 1,800 games on this image. Coleco, that's 138, it's missing two games, usually 140. I don't know what the two games are. CDTV, 
19 games for those of you that want like a little more storytelling type games. Daphne, you only have a few Dragon's Lair 1, 2, and Space Ace. Those are the most common three. Dreamcast, and I, I'm not, I'm okay with this. That, um, you know, it doesn't, it only has about seven or eight games. Um, because the Dreamcast doesn't run that great on this particular pie. Game Gear 263, Game Boy. We've got almost 500, Game Boy Advance. We've got all of them at over 1,000. Game Boy Color, 582. And Television, you've got 124. Sega Master System, you've got 271. Sega Mega Drive, you got 1,155. And so I'm imagining you probably, because this does include, yeah, the Japanese. So this is both the, both Mega Drives. And then oh, it looks like you do have some hacks in here as well. So that's kind of cool. That's something you don't get on the Virtual Man image that I just reviewed a few days ago. MSX 668. Um, Nintendo 64, only 29. And uh, I can tell you right now that, you know, these games run okay. Not amazing, not... Yeah, that's fine. These are all fine. They'll all run. Neo Geo, you got probably 140 or so. 142. Neo Geo CD, you got 29. Got some good box art here. Some good art. NES, you're going to see over 1,000, I'm sure. 1,300. Dick Tracy's on there because that was a random game they brought me to earlier. But um, you'll see here, you were going to have some hacks and things. Um, but it also looks like he, which is kind of cool, is that this is also including family computer disk system or family computer system as well in this list, as well as the hacks, which I don't mind. Neo Geo Pocket Color, 40, because it just saves space on the menu there. Open Bore 72, PC Engine 209, PC Engine CD ROM got 100. That's quite a bit. That's where a lot of your space is on this image right there. Ports, these are full install installation of Doom 1, Doom, Doom 2, Final Doom, the Plutonium Experiment, and TNT. So if you like Doom and you like Cave Story, look no further. Cave Story, I'm going to have to check to see if that is the English version or not. Um, PSP, I believe these are PSP minis, not PSP. Yeah, these are all PSP minis. You notice how it says a little minis over there? So these are not like the full PSP games that, um, you know, people might think they are. PS1, wow, that is cool. 700 PlayStation games. That's pretty ridiculous. So while I've seen larger, like with the V-Man add-on pack, this is a crazy large PlayStation set. So I'll just do a quick scroll through here. Some of a lot of you probably getting this now are probably thinking like, yeah, nice. A lot of PS1. Um, while I'm scrolling through here, it does have the theme randomizer. So every time you reboot, you should be on a different theme, which is kind of fun. You can always turn that off though. And then it has that random uh that randomizer where you hit select on your controller and then you hit start and it'll just pick a random game for you. Which is pretty wild considering you have 22,000 <laughs> potential random games to select. That might drive some people crazy. But at the same time, it could be good, you know, imp imp improvised. Serendipitous. All right, so we're getting, wow, this is a lot of PlayStation games. Oh my God. And there was a lot of great games, don't get me wrong. All right, so that's your PS collection. Second 32X, 33, 37, yep, Scum VM. 44, Mega Drive, Sega CD, 119, Super Graphics, 5, Super Nintendo, wow, that's a lot. And this is going to also include your um, Super Famicom, see, like stuff like this, but also there's going to be some hacks in here as well. SNES CD, how many do we have here? 19, 68,000 Sharp, 172, ZX Sinclair, you're going to see a lot here, 1291. 
Okay, so here you have the Commodore 64 cartridge, 388. Community-based games, the Capcom Play Systems, I'm guessing the CPS 1, 2, and 3 all in one. Darish Zone's own picks, so let's go through those really quick to see Doom, Formula One, Metal Gear Solid, Operation Wolf, great game, Shark Shark, I don't think I've played that one, gotta check that one out now. Super Turrican, Tomb Raiders, Tron, nice. Uh, Wipeout, and then you have your Sega, all Sega games, and then your collections. You have a uh, Amiga joystick selection and Commodore 64 collection collections, and then all games. And then the community, what is the community community love? Clay Fighters, nice. I'm definitely going to play a PlayStation game as far as gameplay, just because there's so many PlayStation games on this image, just to show you how well it runs. And then, um, oh, I love Raiden. I might do Raiden Project. And then we'll do an arcade game just to make sure our arcade games are working well. So let's go ahead and start out with a Raiden project. It's a cool little um, port where you can play Raiden on the PlayStation. I don't know if you noticed that, that little animation where it pulls in on the, on the imagery and then you have this little loading screen here. You can press A on your controller if you want to change like your resolution or anything like that. And what I'm noticing from all the games I've played is all of them have this little bezel that say DZ on the bottom that represent like a TV. And you can see that the aspect ratio is correct. Love those sound effects. Ooh. So you just hit start select on your controller to get out of there. Rick Dangerous 2, great game right there. So let's go ahead and check out an arcade game over here. So the Simpsons arcade game, great game. You should see a little arcade, stand up arcade, there you go. And these things are loading up just fine. Like, look how fast that is. Okay, so when it's a non-console game, the bezel is a little, you know, has a little quarter. And he still snuck his little DZ logo in there. So you hit select for coins. Gotta love that stereo sound. So for those of you, the, the special to get out is select and start. And then as far as to insert tokens, you're just gonna hit select. And then let's play a console game here, which is gonna be Sonic. And what I'm not playing with all of you probably wanna see is that there is a ton of Amiga and Commodore games on here. If, you, if they use a joystick, they should work. Otherwise you might have to uh, use a mouse and keyboard for some of those systems. All right, so there you have it, Dar's Zone, Ultimate King Image. For those of you that are just checking this out now, this has been an iteration after iteration. He's made quite a few of these, 
and uh, I have to say this is really impressive. Um, there are always going to be some naysayers or people who don't like it because, A, it's got way too many games. It's probably the number one complaint I get. It's like, wow, there's so many games that I'll never play. And it depends on what generation of games you're raised up on and what games you want to play. With all that said, I think it's very appropriate what's on here as none of the games that are on here are going to really lag much. Um, you know, for the most part, 95% of these games are going to emulate just fine on the Raspberry Pi 3B+. Plus. So that's why I think it's all good in the hood. Like, I like this one. Uh, plenty and uh, I dig the theme I dig that Darzone didn't just like slap his name everywhere all over the place um, you can still kind of make this your own the one thing that kind of did bug me is that he kind of hid some of the um, the menu items uh, like there should be a lot more menu items over here and I just don't see them um, but I have to say it was pretty cool when I booted this thing up and like it had like some intro song and like he wrote like you a message like welcome to the Darish zone and like had all this stuff going on. I was like, oh wow, it's pretty cool. Um, so um, I really just like how optimized and easy this is. So from like a, you know, just plug it in and play, you know, the whole plug and play, awesome, amazing stuff. So uh, final thoughts, I'm digging it. I think you know you can still kind of play with it, but uh, just like the last image I reviewed, these are images I want to revisit because they're so plug and play and so user friendly that if you can find a you know a used Raspberry Pi or you know somebody has a three, you know just because there's a four out doesn't mean that the three is not any good. You know it's still plenty powerful and still has a ton of options as far as what you want to do with it, whether you want to tinker. Or retro game. So with all that said, two thumbs up on my end. Let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.